So we have models and we have state spaces and trajectories, but we haven't put them together. That's what we are now going to do. And this is the most important idea in the course. The idea is that the model is a set of instructions for how to move in state space. Let's start with our super simple, simplest possible model where we were talking about an animal population and we said x prime equals bx where b is the per capita birth rate. And let's just say for this present example, it's 0.2. Now, by the way, we can certainly ask, what are the units of B? Well, we know that x prime equals Bx. We know the units of x prime, it's animals per some unit time, animals per week, animals per month, animals per year. And we know x, x is in animals. So what are the units of b? They are whatever they need to be to make this come out dimensionally the units of B must be 1 over time because when we multiply it by the number of animals, we need something which is animals per time. So B is in 1 over time. Now you say, what does that mean, 1 over time? Why is that the unit of B? And perhaps a better way to see it is to see a birth rate. What is a birth rate? A birth rate is, so to speak, animals per animal per time. Baby animals per mom animal per unit time. And then, of course, animals per animal cancels out, and that's one over time. So let's deal with this very, very simple model, x prime equals 0.2x. And how do we understand this? How do we deal with it? So the question is, how do we understand this change equation, x prime equals 0.2x? What are we supposed to do with this? We're going to deal with this in a very, very systematic way. We talked about x as the state vector, the vector that represents the state of the system at a time. We are now going to introduce a new concept, which is that x prime is a change vector. And we are going to visualize that in the following way. Let's first go back and look at state space. So this is an animal population, and there is x, and here is the point x0. And let's just say that in this case, x0 is 10. So here is the state of the system when it has exactly 10 animals in it. Now, what is the change vector at the point x0 equals 10? Well, we just said the change vector x prime is equal to 0.2 times x. x is equal to 10. So the change vector here is equal to 0.2 times 10, or 2. We will represent that by taking a change arrow of length 2 
and putting it at that state point x0, like a one-way sign pointing. At, let's say, another state point, let's say uh, x equals 100, what is the change vector? The change vector is x prime equals 0.2 times 100, or 20. So, at the point 100, we assign a much longer change vector, whose length is 20, and we assign that change vector to this point, 100. So by writing it in this way, you already begin to see what the change is going to be. The change at x0 is going to be to go to the right, because that's what the change vector is telling it to do. That's going to put you at a different point, and then the change vector at that point is going to tell you, again, move to the right, only move to the right at an even faster rate. And that's going to take you to a new point where there's a new change vector. And the new change vector is going to tell you, continue moving to the right at an even faster rate. So you see where this is going. It's only going one way. It's going to the right, that is, x is increasing. And x is going to be increasing faster and faster and faster as x gets larger. So we have already seen, number one, how to get change vectors from a change equation, how to map those change vectors onto state space, and give us a picture of the motion.